In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he the sea. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass and herb yielding seed after its kind and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind. And it was so. The earth brought forth grass, and the herb yielding seed after its kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. And he made the stars also, and set them in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth. Amen. 
and God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly every moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great whales after their kind, and every winged fowl after their kind. And God said, Let the earth bring forth every living creature after its kind, cattle and beast and creeping things. And it was so, and God saw it was good. And he created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over all earth, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Behold, I have given you every herb-bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth, every tree in which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for food, and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for food. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all the work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work, which God created and made. In the days that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens and every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb before it grew, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground. There went up a mist from the earth 
and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. And the tree of life also in the midst of the garden. And the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden. The Lord God took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make a helpmate for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all the cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helpmate for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from the man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife. And they shall be one flesh, and they both were naked, the man and his wife and were not ashamed.
Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldst not eat? The woman who thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, what is this that thou hast done? The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all the cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Under the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow shalt thou bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree, cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of ground wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return.
And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bore his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep, and Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering he had no respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou dost well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou dost not well, sin lieth at the door. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, where is Abel, thy brother? I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground, and now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond, shalt thou be on the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond on the earth, and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord. God saw that the wickedness of man was great on earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, 
I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth. Both man and beast and the creeping things and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generation. And Noah walked with God. And Noah begot three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood, room shalt thou make in the ark, and thou shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. A window shalt thou make to the ark, and the door shalt thou set in the side thereof. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life from under the heaven. And everything that is in the earth shall die. But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons and thy wife and thy sons' wives with thee, and of every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort shalt thou bring into the ark to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female. Of fowls after their kind, and of cattle after their kind, and of every creeping thing of the earth after its kind, two of every sort shall come unto thee to keep them. his son's wives with him into the ark. And God said, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee I have seen righteous before me in his generation. The Lord said, I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights, and every living substance that I have made will I destroy from the face of the earth. that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. The fountains of the great deep were broken up. 
and the windows of heaven were opened. upon the face of the waters, and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills and the mountains were covered, and all flesh died that moved upon the earth, both the fowl and the cattle and the beast, and every man, all in whose nostrils was the breath of life, of all that was in the dry lands, and every living substance was destroyed from the earth. remained alive, and they that were with him in the ark. And the waters prevailed on the earth 150 days. And God remembered Noah and every living thing that was with him in the ark. God made a wind to pass over the earth, and the waters assuaged. The fountains also of the deep, and the windows of the heaven were stopped, and the rain from heaven was restrained, and the waters were turning from off the earth continually, and after the end of 150 days, the waters were abated and the ark rested upon the mountains of Ararat, and the waters decreased continually until the tops of the mountains were seen. And it came to pass that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made, and he sent forth a raven, which went forth to and fro until the waters were dried up from off the earth. Also he sent forth a dove from him to see if the waters were abated from off the face of the ground. But the dove found no rest for the sole of her foot, and she returned unto him into the ark, for the waters were on the face of the whole earth. And he stayed yet another seven days, and again he sent forth the dove out of the ark. And the dove came home unto him in the evening, and lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off. So Noah knew that the waters were abated from off the earth, and the earth again was dry.
And God spoke unto Noah, saying, Go forth of the ark, thou and thy wife and thy sons and thy sons' wives with thee. Bring forth with thee every living thing that is with thee of all flesh, both of fowl and of cattle and of every creeping thing, that they may be fruitful and multiply upon the earth. his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him. Every beast, every creeping thing and every fowl and whatsoever creepeth upon the earth after their kinds went forth out of the ark. God spoke unto Noah, Behold, I establish my covenant with you. This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you. For perpetual generations I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud, and I will remember my covenant, and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. The whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there.
And they said one to another, Go to, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city, and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. <laughs> 